Good morning everybody, welcome back to the Degelman Family Farm. Uh, today we're going to work on, I think I've got all the components I'm going to need to get that lighting going on that old Studebaker truck. Uh, we're turning that into, it's, you know, it's not drivable, it doesn't run. Uh, the motor's there, it probably wouldn't take a whole lot to get it running, but but uh, we, we don't use it. It's used as a uh, as yard art, as photo, it's a prop for photos, they do a lot of photos there. But I want to get the lighting working. We used to have it working and then uh, my cobbled together system kind of failed. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna convert everything over to LED like you saw in some previous videos and a better 12 volt power supply than what we had going. But uh, we got the lights put together. I want to show you what we've done there. Uh, I believe I talked about it in the last video. But we took the old light, the old sealed beam headlight uh, they were actually six volt lights out of that Studebaker. I was able to open up the back and get the old fixture thing out of there. And I put in a new holder that would hold an LED style headlight bulb. So we opened up a sealed beam headlight and made it an open beam headlight. Uh, I put, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you guys can see that. I put uh, caulking around there. And we're gonna verify, before I go and install these, I wanna verify that they're gonna work. I don't wanna go to all that trouble of putting them in and wiring them in and, and sealing it up and then have my idea not work. So I've got a, a little 12 volt, uh, a little 12 volt trickle charger. It's a 1.5 amp uh, trickle charger that I've got. I got several of them around we use for different things. Uh, so there's our power supply. I'm gonna hook it up to the wires uh, temporarily just to verify this works before I put it all together and this in this case these two wires are our positive side this wire is our negative side so we're gonna put the positive on here the negative on here and it is not working huh. Let's uh, try something else here. I'm actually going to hook this up to the battery that we installed in the woodshed. We did that in a previous video. I'm going to hook this up here and see if I can feed that off the battery. Uh, the amperage draw may not be enough on that light to get this little trickle charger to feed it. It might not sense that there's even a load there so it doesn't turn itself on. I don't know for sure about that but I believe that may be the case. Let's try let's try something else here. There I think you can see that. Let's uh let's hook this trickle charger up to the battery here. And the lights on the trickle char charger show that it's charging. So it's sensing that battery. Now let's go get that light. Haha, <laughs> look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's put it so you can see. There, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully that shows up. So there's our light. That one works. I'm going to go get the other one and try the other one. Make sure that one works. Hey, look at that. We got two lights at work. So my idea did work. Uh, good. Now we can install those. And I'll take you guys with me.
Well, we're back over by the Studebaker. Uh, I know I said in the other video that I was going to use the existing old wires that I had rigged up from the other light, but I think I changed my mind. I'm going to run. I'm going to run new wires. It won't take very long. I've got some new low, low voltage wire, and then I can clean this up a little bit. It'll just be a little cleaner, cleaner look. So I'm going to rip that old wiring out of there. It shouldn't take me too long. Run new wires. Uh, yeah, it's just nice to be able to work outside again. Uh, yesterday was so miserable. I worked out here for a little bit, but it was like one or two degrees, three degrees, something like that. And the wind was whipping at about 20 miles an hour. It was not a fun day to be outside working. So I didn't work outside a lot. Did a little bit, but not a lot. Um, today is, well, I blew that snow earlier, but today is, uh, I don't know, I think it's about eight or nine, 10 degrees, somewhere in there. And a uh, little light snow blowing around, but there is no wind. I don't know if you can see if the camera shows this light snow, which looks kind of cool. A little hazy sunshine there and a uh, few snowflakes floating around. So working outside isn't bad at all today. But uh, hang on, I'm going to cut these wires out of here, which will be fun. I get to crawl around on the ground underneath this old truck. So hang on. for now and let me get some new wire we'll run some of that new wire through here got some spools of wire here the worst part about it is climbing underneath that old truck okay i'm going to start at this end i'll put my spool here Side of that frame so you guys can even see this Let's see if I can reach up in there and get a hold of that. Probably would have been smarter to run both of them at the same time, but a little late now. Oh yeah, I can reach that. Maybe I can reach that. Bad. Through here, through this grommet here, 
I gotta get back underneath. And run it. Up through the hole in the bottom of the light fixture. Here we go. There's one headlight done. The wire run anyway. Far from done, but at least I got wire. Well, that's that, and I'll run the other one to the other side. I'll run the one for the other side. Now I get to do the fun part, climbing back underneath this darn thing. Not easy to do when you're old and to clean you guys up you got dirty there we go we got the other wire run for the other headlight boy that uh <laughs> that old flathead six cylinder looks like it could darn near run don't it when we first got this thing about 15 years ago we dumped a bunch of oil in each spark plug actually i think i bought brand new spark plugs for it uh and we dumped a bunch of oil in each uh, each cylinder through the spark plug and towed it. I mean, it turned over just fine. Uh, we didn't put any fuel in it to try to start it or anything like that. We just wanted to see if it would at least even, if the motor was stuck or whatever. And uh, yeah, it, it uh, pulled and put it in gear and the motor spun. And, but we never did try to, you know, see if we could make it run or anything like that. Just about lunchtime now. I'm gonna go up, make a sandwich, make something to eat for lunch. Uh, and then I'll come back after lunch and we can work on this some more. Talk to you later, thanks for watching.